What is up everybody, Big Juicy Hog here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be getting back into some WoW economy techniques, specifically making sure that you're diversifying your farms. Diversifying your farms, what does that mean? Well, to put it in the simplest terms, you make sure to do multiple different farms to get multiple different items on the market. The more diversity you have in your WoW auctions, the more likely you are to make a bunch of sales at once. Let's take for example, Elementium Ore, which is selling really nicely right now. You obviously want to get in on this and make a decent chunk of gold. However, you will want to temper your farming as there isn't anything worse than spending 4 hours farming one item and it sits on the auction house day after day. So what should you be farming? As in a previous video, you should be taking advantage of the add-on worth it to see what currently is worth farming. This can be anything you want to farm from raw materials to mounts to transmog. How should you be farming? Obviously this is completely up to you, but I generally don't like to spend more than one hour at a time on any given gold farm. You can if you like, but I find it easier to just go back out and farm some more if it sells, rather than hope it all sells quickly. Well, my auctions aren't selling. Now what? Continue to diversify. Put your greasy little fingers in as many markets as possible. If raw materials aren't doing it for you, try farming materials to turn into goods with crafting. Unless what you farm is a really slow seller, you should be able to get rid of it within at least 48 hours. When you're farming items to sell, the amount that gets sold on a daily basis on all servers is an indicator if it may take you quite a long time to sell. Transmog are notoriously slow to sell. I sell a few pieces a week, but I'm pretty sure I still have pieces that I've been trying to sell for years. That's one of the main reasons I choose to diversify what I sell. If I put all my eggs into the transmog basket, I could very well get frustrated and quit attempting to make gold. In my opinion, the best way to diversify is to split your sales into the following groups and sell some of all of them. Number 1. Gathered Materials This includes herbs, ore, and leather for the most part. These things will always have a market and should sell quickly. They aren't the highest gold per item, but they're big sellers. Number 2. Crafted Items Depending on the item, it could take a long time to sell or could be gone within the day. If you find something that sells a lot quickly at lower profit margins, it's worth investing more into these as they actually sell. Some items appear to be high profit, but are slow burners. Number 3. Transmog These are grabbed from anywhere in the world and may or may not sell. I always focus on pieces that will sell for multiple thousand gold as I'll probably have to repost it many times which can add up to a lot of gold. Number 4. Mounts, Pets, and Collectibles These can be some of the biggest profits per item, but oftentimes they sell incredibly slow, even if you have a very rare mount or pet. These are the kinds of items that you will want to stay pretty firm on price as there are plenty of people that want them, but will sit around looking for the price to drop. Obviously, undercutting competition is still fine. So, to sum it up, get as many different kinds of auctions up as you can, farm different farms, run different instances for transmog, turn some of those raw materials into items. Pretty simple, but it can make you a lot more gold than putting all of your eggs into the same basket. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. If you like the content, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.